For example, we will probably need shovels and dusters to uncover the artifacts. We'll be heading for the tomb of the high priest, Pinu the Jim, the second. We're, that is where Ramsey II was buried. We are looking for the Pharaoh Ramsey II and his possessions that were buried with him. Step two is the excavation process. In this step, you begin your digging. We also need to know if it is safe to dig, and we have to make sure everybody knows what their job is. We have found a pharaoh called Ramses II, his staff, a clay bowl filled with jewels, a clay pot filled with gold coins, a shard of pottery that may have been part of a hieroglyphic, a tablet of hieroglyphics, his sarcophagus, a container that may have contained food that the people who worshipped him filled often, and a shabti. A shabti is, the, is a servant in the pharaoh's afterlife. This was all found in Ramsey's tomb in Egypt. Can you please explain to me analysis of finding? This is the third step in the archaeological method. In this step, you study what you dug up and ask yourself four questions about the things you dug up, of course. The four questions are, what is it, how old is it, what is its purpose, and do they make it or trade for it? Roughly, one every hour you spend in your dig site, you spend 10 hours in the lab analyzing. So what is this that you brought to show me? This is a shard we found in Ramsey's second tomb. We think it's a piece of a hier hieroglyphic. Whoa, look at those markings. You can totally tell that. Yeah. Okay. What is publication? Publication is the fourth step in the archaeological method. In this step, we'll publicize our findings and document them. Right now, our team is looking to find a museum to hold our findings of Ramsey's Assembly and other things from our dig site. Later, we will document the artifacts that we found by writing a short summary about them, when we found them, and where we found them. Wow, well, that's interesting. Uh, so, what are these artifacts? Well, this right here is a hieroglyphic that we found in Ramses II's tomb. He has no idea what it says, but we're working to find out. Five, preservation. In this step, you will preserve what you have found. You should always preserve the artifacts that you, you found so you can look at them in a few years when there may be newer and, newer and better technology and information on the artifacts. In a, a several years, uh, you will be glad you preserved me, so you can look at me and learn more about me. Thank you for watching our video.